Today in this video, I'm about to show y'all the best top 10 teams in, in NBA 2K24. You won't believe who's the top five on this list. These teams are going crazy right now. So y'all need help to win games, look at the list. All right, number 10, you gotta go with the New Orleans Pelicans because look at what they have here. They got Zion Williamson, you got Brandon Ingram, you got CJ McCollum, you got Jonas, you got Herbert Jones. He's a two-way, no, actually not a two-way, but he's a 3D player, meaning that he can lock up and shoot threes. That's what you're known for. And they got a good bench like, like Trey Murphy, you got Jose, you got um, Larry, Lan um, Larry Nance Jr. And you know, the rest of them, nah, they all right. But this team right here, you got the three best players, not not the best or one of the best, what they good at in the, each position, right? I'm gonna give you an example, like Zion Winston, not 90 overall and power forward. You got Brandon English at small forward. Sometimes they put him at the two guard, but it's up to you, it's your decision. And sometimes they have CJ McCone at point guard. He used to play the two guard, but now he played point guard. So he quick and he can shoot the three ball pass and do what he do best in real life. Now, you're gonna take a look at Zion Wilson. I'm gonna show you why this team right here is one of the top 10 teams in 2K. Watch this. Look at this. Bulldozer, fast Trish. You know, you got um, position dunker. It's crazy, man. Like, he got all the gold badges. He got three Hall of Fame badges. Like, this team, like, people use this team, though, but they don't use it that often. But this team is slept on. So, if you play with this team, you won't be disappointed. So, if you play with them, you want to get some wins out of this. And you got to know exactly what you're doing. You could throw a lot to Zion Williamson. He'd be like banging on people's heads and dunking on people. This dude is a, is, is a beast, like a monster. Like you can't even stop him. Then you got Brandon Ingram could shoot. He's like a boule version of Kevin Durant, but he got the moves. He could shoot three. He's 6'8". What can you do? And, and I always explain CJ McCollum what he could do. And then you got um, Giannis, whoever his name is. Like he could shoot the three ball. Like you could basically play five out with this team. So don't sleep on them. All right, number nine, you gotta go with the Grizzlies, man. Cause you got John Moran, you got Jaron Jackson, you got Desmond Baines, Marcus Smart, Steven Adams, you got Brandon Clark, you got Luke Kennard, one of the best shot shooters on the planet. Don't leave that man open. I don't know who this guy is. You got Derrick Rose. So this team is this team is crazy, man. I know there's number I know they like number six or, or seven, whatever, but I don't know where to put them because a lot of teams is better than them in this game. It depends how you play, but if you nice with John Morant, you do damage with him, especially if you want a five out. All you gotta do is put um Jaren Jackson at the five and take out Steven Adams if you want to stretch the floor. Now, John Morant, his three balls are saying five, but you can green it in this game if you're nice enough to do it. Now Let's take a look at the badges real quick. You got Fast Trish, four point guard. You got Position Dunker. I don't know what that does, but it seems it sounds OP. You got Acrobat. You got West of the Gold Badge, Anchor Breaker, Blow By, Bunny, Diamond, all this stuff. A flow game. I don't think he. I don't, he do floors. He don't know he do floors. He do floors sometimes, but not like that. He he mostly dunk on people or jump over somebody. But anyway, look at all these gold badges, man. Go 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 go. Look at this. You gonna tell me this team not OP? And this is a former defensive player of the year, man. He won it last year, so he definitely gonna protect the rim. You can put him at center, slow down um, bad centers like Joel and B and Jokic. You can put him, you can put him against those guys. So that way you can slow him down, and you don't get hit with the cheese. And then you got Marcus Smart. You know, one of the best defenders. He he just won a defensive player of the year two years ago. So you got two players that won the defensive defensive player of the year back to not back to back. But like on the same team. That's what I'm trying to say. But his three ball semi now he he a definitely like a 3D player. You know, shoot threes and play defense. And he got Hall of Fame badges, but work hard. It means like his hustling and things like that. So his team is lit, man. They number nine. Try them. Alright, number eight, you gotta go with the Clippers, man. Cause you got Kawhi Lance still do what he do. The only problem is, is that they have glove. On bronze, I don't know why. This is Kawhi Leonard, man. Why they have it on bronze? I don't know. They, I don't know. Is it a mistake? Look at this. Look at this. Increase the ability successfully steal the steal from the ball handler. On bronze? Are you serious? That's disrespectful. I know people say, "Oh, he fell off." You got defense in your mindset, so you never gonna fall off from that. You just steal the ball. That's IQ. I don't know why they made that as a bronze. 
So that don't make no sense there. But anyway, you know, he don't got Hall of Fame badges no more, but he still could lock up, go crazy, especially somebody off ball. You got Paul George, you got Russell Westbrook, still do what he do. You got Zubat, you got Plummy. He said this is ass, I ain't gonna hold you. But um, you got Norman Powell, you got um, Kenny Martin's son, you got Marcus Morris, he can shoot the three ball to this day. You got, um, what's his name? You got Wobble Covington. A three ball 83, not bad. Sometimes they put him at center, I don't know why. But, you know, they try to stretch the floor, whatever, do what they do. But Paul George, no gold badges. That is tough, man. Why? I don't make no, I don't know, man. 2K be tricked. I don't know they hate on Paul George because he got a podcast. I don't know, but this is ridiculous, man. Give him some gold badges and stop playing. All right, number seven, you got go with the Warriors because you got Stephen Curry still do what he do, even though he's 35 years old, but he don't play like he's 35. He plays like he's 25. And then you got Clay Thompson, Clay do not play. Don't leave that man open because he will make you pay. Woo hoo hoo. Yeah, you know I can rap there. But anyway, you got Chris Paul coming off the coming off the bench. He still could play 85 overall. He should be able to start, man. That's ridiculous playing behind Steph Curry. But I heard that they're gonna pull him at the one and Steph Curry at the two. Who knows? I don't know. But in the video game, don't do that. That's dangerous. Unless the opponent is trash. But you got Draymond Green still do what he do. Andrew Wiggins. You got Looney. Well, yeah, he just grab rebounds. You know, you got Kumega. You got Gary Payton's son. Still do what he do. You got Kobe Joseph. Damn, he getting old. But anyway, you know, this seems so deadly. You know, Steph Curry movement is crazy in this game. Like, you know, the pro play give him that better animation in the game. It's really hard to guard him, especially they doing pick and rolls and all that. It, it's tough, man. I ain't gonna lie, compared to last year. Last year, you could kind of lock him up, but this year, you need some defense to lock him up. If you don't have it, you're gonna get killed all day by this man. I'm telling this right now. I'm not even kidding. I have a hard time guarding this man with no defense. Imagine with the, that's why you need defense. You gotta, you need, you gotta play with a team that need defense, like the Bucks, um, the Bucks Clippers, and you got uh, what other team that has defense? Um, damn, I lost count. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, let's move on. All right, number six, you gotta go with the Nuggets, man. Y'all like, wait a minute, did they just won a championship last year? Yeah, but the difference is this is real life. And no, it's a difference between real life and a video game. Video game wise, I play at number six because other teams is better than that. But who knows? It might change. I don't know. They might be top three. Who knows? But for all this, in this game go, they top six because look, look at Jokic, man. He's the best center in the game, 98 overall. You got a, a mid range, 98, a three ball, 85. Post hook and fade, 95, 94, whatever. Post control, 98. Uh, what a shot IQ, ball control 76, man. That's cheese, man. If you're not a dribble with this, man. It's over, man. Like, that's why this team right here, if you want to expose all ball players and five out, this is the team to play with. I'm telling this right now. You got to play with this team to expose a lot of off balls. I'm telling this right now. And all balls not going to like that. They be like, oh, that's cheese, but off ball is cheese too. 50 50, right? So, you got Jamal Murray. 88 overall, they fix his shot a little bit, but you gotta play a little bit early jump shot so it get, gets the release time it goes off, you know what I mean? So, his jump shot is fixed though. You got Aaron Gordon, still dunking, going crazy, block shots. You got Michael Porter Jr., you got Coldwell Pope, you got Reggie Jackson. Who else they got? Uh, who, who's this? Justin Holiday. Uh, you got DeAndre Jordan. And, you know, the list going on and on, but. This team is stacked, man. They nice. You can five out, go crazy. It is what it is. Number five, you gotta go with the 76ers, man. You got Drew and B, one of the two best two-way centers in the game today, man. You're gonna take a look at the badges. Look at this. Anchor, back down punisher. You got brick wall, bulldozer, dream shake, drop step them. And he played defense, man. Like it's crazy. You can't you can't stop that. You know what I'm saying? To me personally, he's a better all-round player than Jokic, Jokic's offense better than NB, but when it comes to two way, Jokic's not stopping that. Look, three ball, 78. Look, 97. Post fade, 95. Post hook, 95. I don't know, they still do hook shots in this game, but look at this, man. Come on. He should be a 98 overall. That's disrespectful, a 96. Don't let that overall fool y'all guys. He's still performing like he's a 100. 
Yeah, you got James Harden. You know what we do? Let me see. Take a look at his badges real quick. Look at this, man. Oh, man. Nothing but gold. Go, 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 go. So he's still a problem, man. You got Tyrese Maxey. One goal? Oh, my God. So disrespectful. Let me see. T. Harris. No goal? Damn. All right. Oh, you got Patrick Bradley on 76. Okay. Now they add some defense in their squad. You got 76 three ball. Nothing but 80s. You can five out with this team, too, man. This team could be deadly with the five out. You know, you know, so. All right, number four, you got to go with the Celtics, man. You got Jason Tatum. You got Jalen Brown. Chris Paul Zingers, the newest member. I'm telling this right now, this team look crazy. I know, I understand the overall might go down, but I hope it stays this way if you get more touches. But they, they, I think they're going to try and make him as a spot shooter. I mean, a spot up shooter, right? He's not going to have a lot of opportunities because um, Jason Tatum is a first option. Jalen Brown is the second option, so Chris Stapp won't be the third option. What can you do? And then you got um, Broaden, you got Derek Wright, you know, Al Horford, you got Robert Williams. You know, they got some pieces, man. And you can't, you hear to tell me they can't win a championship with this squad? This is crazy. Look, 87 3 boy, 83, 83, 89, 84, 85. It's crazy, man. And you don't want to talk about the defense now. The defense is on point, man. 88, 87. That's a perimeter defense. Like, just in case you're going up against the Warriors, you need something like that, man, to slow down Curry, because Curry is a problem. But, you know, you got Derrick Wright, 90, 90 in defense, on ball? I didn't I didn't know that. Man, I got to watch more games than him. He don't look like he can play D. Like, look at his smile on his face. But, you know, it is what it is. And you got Paul Zingas, could block shots. You got Al Hofer, could block shots, shoot three. Like, it's crazy. Like, you could five out with this team. They got nothing but gold, gold badges. Look, gold. Well, he got one gold. All right, number three, you have to go with the Bucks, man. This team right here, not only they could score, but also they could play defense. They got defense all over in each position, man. From Giannis, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Brooke, um, Brooke Lopez, and you got, what's his name? What's this guy? You got Grayson Allen. Like, he's not a defender, but you don't, need, you don't need to worry about him defending. Who cares? You got four guys on the court that defending. So that's great if you need some stops. But it's only one problem. Giannis, right here? I don't, I'm not sure he's still overpowered or not because last year you can't stop him going straight up. Like it's automatically a bucket. But this year it goes in, but not all the time. They kind of calm down with that, which is a good thing because you got bums coming in the game, spamming Giannis, going straight up, going straight up, and, and, and going layups and driving to the rim all the time with Giannis. It's automatically a bucket. You can score like 55, or you can average about 45 or 50 points in 2K23. 24, I'm not too sure. But you can able to slow him down and you put the, the, the right height and the right player to guard him. So he's still OP though by his own right. It depends how you use him. You can shoot the three ball if you're not on the timing. Even though people will say, oh, he's not a three-point shooter. Yeah, but he made some last year and a couple years ago. He, he's improving. So it is what it is. He got three Hall of Fame badges. Where's the goal? Anchor, you know, that's important. Back down, punish a bunny, clamps. You got chase down artists. It's hard to get chased down nowadays. Pogo still, you got you got post lockdown, post Awaza. So, you know, Giannis is an all-around beast, man. And you got Drew Holiday, could lock up your favorite point guard. And you got Chris Milliton. So, man, this, this, they're the top three teams to use. Why not use them and get some wins? Oh, y'all forgot that I'm gonna leave the Lakers out? Nah, they definitely OP, man. Lakers are number two uh, best team in the game. I'm gonna tell you why. You got LeBron James. Anthony Davis, D'Angelo Russell, you got Austin Reeves, you got Jed Vanderbilt, you got, I don't know how to say his name, you got um, Gabe Vincent, you got Christian Wood, you got Prince, you got Cam Reddish. So, this team right here is way better than they had two years ago and last year. And, and not only that, imagine you five out with this team, it's over. I don't care what nobody said. If you five out with this team, it's you done. Old boys, y'all gonna be punished. I'm telling you, man. Stop off balling. Man up. Cause this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get fouled out and you're gonna start complaining. Stop off balling. But anyway, look, look at LeBron James. Chase down all his on Hall of Fame. The rest is all go. You know what time it is. All go. Go, 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 go. La 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 la. Okay, you got Andy Davis. Look. Nope. This is all I don't understand 2K. Why they never give Andy Davis a Hall of Fame badges? I just noticed that. They never gave this man a Hall of Fame badges. Why? Why? 
Alright, number one, you gotta go with the Suns, man. Look at this, man. This team is nothing but all stars, man. All star, superstar, whatever you wanna call it. This is like an all star game, man. Like it's like a fantasy, like you dream to be. Like you dream this kind of lineup. And this is a reality, man. You got Kevin Durant, you got Demo Booger. They had Demo Booger at point guard. That's kind of cheese by 2K. Why I don't know. But they had him at point guard. And then you got Bradley Bill. You got DeAndre Aiden. You got Bobo too. Oh my lord. You, what? This is crazy. 